Hi, I'm Stacy Spangler and I'm a mixed media artist. Thank you for joining me in my studio. So I have been demonstrating some ways lately that I play in my studio. Um, as an artist, I think it's really important that we just give ourselves time to create where there's not a lot of pressure. And um, sometimes when I have deadlines for paintings or um, you know, I'm creating a series or something like that, then I just kind of get stuck and I just have to give myself some time and space to just play. And so I've talked a lot about small format art and I've talked a lot about art journaling and cards. And um, so I'm just gonna keep kind of going and just showing you my process as I am in my studio playing. So I can't stand to waste paint. And I love, I either use these plastic um, palettes here or I use just a plastic white paper plate. But I love being able to peel this paint off and use it in art. Um, I've done a ton of stuff in my journals with it, but you can also just make fun art. So, I don't know, I'd worked on this little rooster here. I think I had a piece. You can cut it, and I've got my glove on so it's not coming up easily, but you can get just like a little scraper and kind of get the edge started and then it usually peels up really easy you can see here but sometimes there'll be certain shapes and you can use either side so like you can use this side Ooh, that's so satisfying oddly satisfying look at this piece that just came out um whew, nice so you can use this side which reminds me of like a balloon or you can use the side here and just create things out of it. You can cut it with scissors or you can just use the random scraps. I have done journals before where I've covered the binding of my journals with the leftover paint or lots, lots of fun things you can do. So I was gonna do this on this little white canvas and then I decided I didn't wanna do it on canvas. So I'm just gonna pull out a note card here and do my little chicken on my note card. Um, and let's see here I think I had just kind of a little ground here that I was going to start with Here's my little guy oops and I'm just going to use some gel medium to attach this. I've got all the little pieces cut out here. And this is just a fun little card. So you can, like you see, and I may add some words onto this, um, but this could also be done just in an art journal. It's just a way to play, and again, it's um, just using the pieces it's almost like a puzzle cutting out the shapes and I don't know it just really kind of gets my mind um, in more of a creative zone where I kind of have my mind off what's going on in my life and my keep my hands moving right so um, anyway I'm just gonna glue these pieces on I'll let you watch I do use a heavy gel gloss medium um, actually, probably for a paper like this, I would prefer a matte medium, but I think I'm all out of my heavy matte medium right now, so I'm just gonna use the gloss and try to avoid smearing it all over the page. So the gloss will appear shiny if you get it on the paper. The matte will just kind of blend in with the, you know, the texture of the paper background. That's why I prefer a matte for things like this. If I'm gonna use a canvas or a other thing where I'm gonna put a sealer over the top, then it really doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, yeah, here is my little rooster, little chicken person, and I'm going to glue this on and show you my card when it's finished. Mm -hmm. 